Hey, welcome. Hello, IOD magicians. Today again, uh, in another very interesting uh, demo where I'm going to show you a very beautiful display. This is the TFT display. And now, nowadays, this is being very useful for all of us who are trying to make IOD projects and uh, interfacing various sensors or other IOD devices. These touch and touch uh, TFT displays are very useful and you can easily connect these to your ESP32. Let me just quickly explain you a little bit about these uh, displays so that you will have an idea of what all they can do. These are Nexion actually. Nexion is a human machine interface solution. These display are uh, resistive touch screen displays and that make easy to build a graphical user interface. You can easily make uh, various graphics uh, uh, inside this and those you can use uh, with your ESP and all kind of your microprocessors. It is a great solution to monitor and control processes being mainly applied to IoT applications. If you are going to make some applications where you want to monitor any sensor data or you want to control any other devices, all those devices, all those a monitor, you can easily make graphics to this small TFT devices. There are several, there are several Nexion display modules are available in sizes um, varying from 2.4 inch to 7 inch. If you will see that uh, this is uh, the module, this is 2.4 inch TFT module. So this is, this is quite enough, uh, good enough for us to make a better GUI and we can easily connect this to our ESP also. These are actually built in, they already have built in ARM microcontroller that controls uh, this display. For, uh, for example, uh, it takes care of generating buttons, creating text, store images, or change the background. So all these kind of graphical elements, graphical controls, you can easily draw and make a page in these kind of display boards. The Nexion communication with any microcontroller you can use uh, to control any of your control microcontroller like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP32, ESP8266 uh, using serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. Uh, so if you want to design any graphics or you want to make any GUI page that you can use in this, for that we have Nexion editor. Let me quickly show you first how that editor looks and how we can make different uh, elements, different control elements for this LCD board so that we can then use uh, those GUI elements and directly interact those elements with our ESP8266. So you are seeing that my ESP is also connected to this uh, display. And let me quickly show you first uh, the editor so that you will have an idea how does it look like. So I'm just uh, sharing the screen with you. So here uh, you can you can see that this is the editor, Maxion editor, where you can build a kind of GUI, and that GUI will be definitely this is a touchable GUI which you can easily uh, upload to your uh, display and then use this GUI to control your ESP8266. This way you do not need to depend on your mobile device or any other device to control your ESP from external world. So here, an example, I have created two buttons here. One is the on button, another is off button. And down below, I have a temperature capturing uh, information. So and another button is update temperature. The way I have designed this GUI, it will interact with ESP8266. And when you will press, when you will touch this on button, it will switch on our built-in LED of ESP8266. And when you will touch this off button, it will switch off the LED. Similarly, if you will press this update temperature button, it will automatically read the temperature data from ESP8266 and it will display on the screen, on this uh, touch screen. So this sounds very interesting and uh, this is a very hot new cake so that so or you all can start working on that. If you need the details on this, you can directly contact me. Soon I will going to create uh, a live session on this and I will explain in detail how do we develop these kind of GUI elements and how do we interact this with ESP8266. But uh, let me now 
quickly show you a demo where you can use this this kind of displays communicating with your ESP8266. First, let me stop sharing it. So here you can see that uh, this is the touch display which uh, which connects to our ESP8266. This is ESP8266 using serial communication, and even you can power you this board directly from your ESP8266 uh, through V in pin the five volt. So as soon as I will switch on and give it the power, you can see that my uh, the tip, the board, the switch, the touch screen is now on. But I, I think you will not be able to see it properly because of the um, the dimming and the resolution. But yeah, here is the screen in front of me is the screen where I have a on button and off button and uh, the update temperature button at the below. So as soon as you will press this off button, it will switch off our ESP inbuilt LED, which you are seeing here, the blue color LED. Let's, let's try to do that. If I will touch this off button, you are seeing that our ESP inbuilt LED is switched off. Similarly, if you will press this on button, it will uh, switch it on again. So in ESP, you are seeing that our inbuilt LED is switched on. So using these kind of display, not only you can switch on the inbuilt LED, now it has all the power and it, it, it is just limited by your now imagination, the kind of projects you can make using these kind of touch LEDs. And similarly, if you will press this update temperature here, it will fetch, it will read the temperature from ESP and send to this, ES, uh, this display and it will be displayed on the screen. I, I, think you, uh, I think you are able to see this temperature data here, 38.31 degrees Celsius. So let me try to uh, uh, press it one more time. So let's try to see if uh, we, we could uh, see some data because of some is this resolution, the light, light problem, you are not able to see it properly, but I can see that temperature data has been updated to 38.58. So similarly, let me try to use this off button again. So I will press this off button. So you are seeing that inbuilt LED is off. And if you will press on this on button, the inbuilt LED is turned on. So this way you can easily use uh, your PFT display and interact with your ESP8266. And you can create any kind of graphics, whatever you want, but any, any kind of page, more than you know, one page, multiple pages also you can create using the editor. So uh, magicians, if you need any further detail on this, and if you want to know how do I do that, or how do we program uh, this TFT display and ESP8266, if you need further information on that, let me know. I will provide the details on that. But um, stay tuned uh, with me soon. I will set up a live session on this and we'll explain all this in detail. Till then, take care of yourself and arigato. Bye-bye.